Erica here with Crafts Direct and I want to share with you this adorable project. I used a little bit of paint and some sponges to create this design. It's a really fun technique called sponge painting and I want to show you how you can make it. You can choose all kinds of different designs. I did an X. You can cut your sponge into any different shape, whichever one you like, and it leaves a really cool texture behind. So I want to show you how I made this. We started this project out by removing the photos that were put on the board originally and then taking white acrylic paint and painting the entire surface white. So painting over everything except those hinge clips. So go on the top, go inside the creases, around the edges, and then also get those three vertical boards that are holding the piece together. We started this with a foam brush and then as we got a good coat on we went back in with a thinner paint brush to really get all of those inside areas. This is going to take two to three coats to cover completely. Next we're going to prep for sponge painting. So cut your sponge in half and then we wanted a thinner line so you're going to trim off the edges vertically on the entire surface that you're going to paint with the sponge. Then we're going to dab the sponge into our gray paint, get it covered in there, do a practice X, and then when you actually go on the board, once you dab into the paint, you'll dab a little bit off on scratch cardboard, and then you'll do it on the board. You'll place the X's where you want them on the board. I alternated mine, so on one row I did three, and then the next row I did two, just to space it out nicely. I got most of my board done and then I realized I wanted some X's looking like they were going behind the hinge clips. So I cut my sponge in half to make it easier to dab paint on there and I put the X's around the hinge clips. So I did that for all four hinge clips. And then I went back with my white foam brush that I used before and I cleaned up any areas that I didn't like. Our final step was to cut the matting for our photos, so I cut four rectangles that are four and a quarter by six and a quarter, which took two sheets of 12 by 12 paper. I adhered my photos to the top of them and then hung them on the board. The very last thing I did was take some light pink enamel dots and put them to cover up the center of the hinge clips. And now it's ready to display. You can find all the supplies to make this project at craftsrack.com and go to the projects page.